Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and this morning I'm gonna start the video out a little bit different. Now, don't worry, we are going thrifting together. You guys are wonderful and really enjoy the thrifting videos, and I am more than happy to show you what kind of shopping goes on here in Pennsylvania. Now, if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller, but a lot of times we go down a rabbit hole with just things that I'm finding in life, things I'm using, some of my my personal life. If you have been with me for a while, you have watched me meet a man in Goodwill Thrift Store and marry him and put an addition onto my house. <laughs> all the craziness all the time. So one or two videos ago, I asked you guys to give me your opinion. And can I just say, I love this community. You guys are wonderful. I put on false eyelashes and I, well, let me back up. I have an event to go to and I tried these eyelashes on that I haven't worn in a long time. They are the very full big eyelashes and I said, okay, be respectful, but give me your opinion. Well, the opinions came out of the woodwork and I loved it. I was here for it. A couple of you did get off course. You strayed from the topic and told me that you didn't like dark nails on me and um, you did like my hair. <laughs> so with this video, I'm gonna show you what eyelashes I'm using and I'm trying to get ready for this event. Okay, so I won't say what event it is, but it's a fairly big event. So I wanna look a little bit more evening and a little bit more fancy. All right, so if you watched that video, they were very full lashes. There were lashes that were like these lashes. So these are just Ardell. I find them in Sally's or online or whatever, and I put on full lashes. I put them on very quickly, and one of them was even popping from the corner because I was just trying them on really quick. And you guys were like 50-50. Some of you loved them and said, oh yes, wear those, go for it. And some of you were like, nope, too heavy, make you look sleepy. So today I put on eyelashes choice number two. Yep, we're talking about eyelashes. And they are my most common eyelashes I use. Now, why do I put eyelashes on? For me, it saves me a lot of time with mascara. I wear contacts and eyelashes are just so much more comfortable. They're softer. They don't get weird at the end of the day with the mascara or whatever. And these are my favorite eyelashes because you guys have been asking. So these are them here. These only cost like, I'm gonna say seven or eight dollars. I just put them into an Amazon search or an eBay search, and I buy them for whoever has them the cheapest. These are Kiss Lash Couture Faux Lash Extensions. Let me put this stuff down. So you can see that they are like individual, not individual like separate singles, but little groups of eyelashes, and you just use a little bit of the eyelash glue and just plug them on. So last time I put on the big eyelashes, the last video, I put them underneath and that is actually more comfortable when you wear them. I can't explain it, but it is. These today I put on on top. So these are eyelashes choice number two. <laughs> Yep, I am actually asking you guys to vote on eyelashes because you guys are truthful and you're on it and you have seen me now for four years. You've seen all the different makeup. You've seen me with very little makeup. You've never seen me with no makeup. That would be scary. But this is eyelash choice number two. So if you think these eyelashes are better than the last, respectfully leave a comment. And I have to say last time, I don't think there were any bad comments. It was all good. And you guys are on it for giving me your honest opinion about things. And I love that. I love reading the comments. Some of them were funny and um, some of them were a little brutal, but still good. And um, yeah, so this is choice number two. So here is the eyelash glue I use. This is Duo and it is the gray color. Now you would think the gray would show more, but it turns just like the color of my natural lashes. So you can't really see any glue. I just dip each individual little lash that I showed you in the glue. I let it get tacky a little and then you just plunk it on and this is great. So I do take these off every other day. I put these on this morning. I will sleep in them one time and then I wash them because I want to keep my eyelids really clean. I know a lot of people sleep in their lashes for many days and um, I just don't choose to do that. All right, so that is the whole eyelash story. Like I said, leave a comment down below. And next, we're gonna answer a few of your questions because 
because not only are you guys interested in my reselling adventures, a lot of you ask me personal questions about what color I use on my hair, what makeup I use, what skincare I use. And I am definitely, as you can tell, not a beauty channel, but we're getting to know each other pretty well here. So I do like to give you some answers of things that you're continually asking. Some of these questions are emails that I get I'm going to say almost every day, every other day. So I'm going to show you a few of the products I use in case you're interested in any of that. If not, you can just fast forward to the thrift store. All right, I'm going to show you a few of the skincare items I use and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so about two years ago, I found a skincare line that I fell in love with. Now, this is not sponsored. I'm not getting any kickback for this. And let me just say too, this skincare is very expensive, but I'm 63. So with the money that I'm making on YouTube, I do bank it. I do take extra money from my eBay income and buy skincare and makeup products that I like. That's my one luxury in life. I'm not a big handbag person. I don't care about what shoes, what brand I'm buying. I buy for comfort. Clothing, you see, a lot of it is thrifted. But when it comes to cosmetics and um, all the products, I'm all about it. If you saw my vanity, it is filled and I love trying different products. This is the skincare line that I have been using for two years now and I love it. This is called Zio Skin Health. So there it is there. And let me just say this stuff is expensive. Expensive because normally I would use like Oil of Olay, uh, L'Oreal, what else? I've used Sicily a couple of times, but those were free samples given to me. I've never paid for Sicily. But this stuff is great. I actually see a difference in the skin texture and my lines, my fine lines and pores are definitely softened, let's say. It doesn't take your lines away. But um, yeah, so in this skincare line, I use the toner, I use the Power Defense, Daily Power Defense, and I use the Big Guns. This is the serum. I use this twice a day religiously. I never skip. I wash my face in the morning with a very gentle cleanser, pat dry, toner, Power Defense, and what is this one called? Uh, growth Factor Serum. I don't think it's really growth factor, but so that is my skincare regime. And like I said, I do it twice a day. Moving on to hair. I have baby, baby fine hair. This hair is mush. I thought as I went through menopause and I got older, I would get more wiry hair. Nope, it just continues to get more and more baby mushy. So Lisa, my daughter, puts color in it for me. I used to go to the salon and one day I was saying to Lisa, this is getting so expensive. And she said, oh, we can do your hair. And if you know my daughter, she is a contractor landscaper by trade. So would you trust one of your children to start putting chemical on your hair? I did. I thought if Lisa was saying we could figure this out, she was going to figure it out. So my hair gets done with foils and she also does my roots when my roots grow in. So I'm doing my roots probably every three weeks because I think if I stopped coloring my hair, I would be all gray. And I have no problem with that. I like getting older, but the gray would make me look very tired. Years ago, I tried it. I said, oh, I'm just gonna let my gray come in. And I looked exhausted. So that is the reason I continue to color my hair and I just like it. So we usually put a mixture of light and dark in. Now, shampoo, I pretty much just use whatever I find, Pantene, sometimes I use a shampoo called Rusk. Again, I'm not sponsored in any way, nobody's giving me money to say this, and I have to wash my hair almost every day because it's still oily. I thought that would stop at this age. It has gotten a little bit better. I do shampoo with a gentle shampoo every day, blow dry it, but when I blow dry it, I use this product, Wow Dream Coat. Do you guys know about this product? I have my ring light showing. This is a spray that is like Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Um, this just gives me shine. It is a heat protectant and um, just makes my hair a little bit more manageable. It calms it down. If it's really humid out, 
um, it fixes that too. So I do use this. I use one other, I'm going to say a five in one, you know, it has different features to it. I'll have to show you that at a later time or put it here on the screen. I forgot to grab that out of the bathroom. All right. So shampoo, I do not condition. I just use the five in one. Like I said, I'll put it on the screen and the wow. And then I blow dry. So I hope that answers all of the beauty questions. Not that I am a beauty influencer, obviously, but you guys continually ask those questions. I'm going to say, like I said, every day I get emails like, hey, off topic, can you tell me what shampoo you're using, what skincare you're using, what makeup you're using? Makeup, I switch all the time. I don't think I have one uh, product that I continually use but um, I'm always trying stuff. I love Sephora and I love Ulta. All right, what a weird way to start a video, but I love you guys. And because you're continually asking the same questions, instead of going on and doing a live, that would be scary, like a get ready with me. Um, and don't even say that you want me to do that. That's not happening. I figured before we jumped out for thrifting today, I would share all of that. All right, leave a comment down below if you like me to talk a little off topic of thrifting and reselling once in a while, or if you're not here for it, that's fine too. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get in the car. Let's go thrifting together. All right, we are at Goodwill. And you know you're a seasoned thrifter when you start to judge the parking lot to see how many people are here. Yeah, so the parking lot is halfway filled. Not as crowded as it's been. All right. Still excited. Let's go see what today is, what color tag. I don't know why I always check the color tag because I never look at the color tags because they've all been here for a week. I don't want the old stuff, I want the new stuff. All right, guys, what do you think? Should we get a big cart? Let's start with a small cart. Let's not jump the gun. What, you got anything to say? <laughs> all right, we're gonna see what the color tag is anyway. It's green. 50% off day. All right, let's go see the artwork. Now it's a whole routine. It's a whole system. I always feel like because I'm right here by this artwork. Oh, do we see the bamboo frame? Are we even in the door five minutes? All right, we don't want that. Okay, these are kind of interesting. I'm not saying they're old. Look at those. Hmm, that might be Ross. Look at that mirror. All right, it's $6.99. Oh, I don't know whether this is good or not. Oh, Karen, 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 stop picking up big mirrors. I can't help it, they sell. Wow. Okay, I don't know what the tag is saying. California, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> How's that for knowledge? Do we like that? I feel like I don't like it. I feel like because it's so darkly colored, I don't know what I'm basing that on. Okay, we saw the rest of this artwork last time we came. Some butterflies. All right, let's get over to the other side and see what there is. I'm gonna demand they lower the music today. <laughs> if they would only listen to me. I just made a friend already. <laughs> Morning, Mike. Good. Oh, whose is this? That is something. Is this yours? It isn't? Whose is this? What is this? Wall accessory. Oh, we have to find out who owns this. Who owns this? I think we want this. Do we want this? Whose cart is this? Okay, I don't see anybody buy this cart. Is this just sitting here? Wow. Let's pull this up. Not as heavy as you would think. Do I want that? Okay, what is that, French Provincial? That is a best guess. Oh, I might take these. If nobody else owns these, I might be stealing somebody's inventory. There's my title. I stole somebody's stuff. This is plexiglass, I think. I can't tell. All right, I'm gonna find out who owns this and we might take this. 
All right, I always say don't pick up decorative plates. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Let's see the marking on the back of this. This is beautiful Germany. Okay, I think this might do okay in the booth. So I'm going to pick this up for the booth. I don't think this would do well on eBay. But that is gorgeous. I love the gold paint. Beautiful. First, first item going in the cart. What are these? Four shea butter soaps. I'm addicted to stuff like this. Oh, look at that. Do we want four shea butter soaps? Yes, we do. We really do. Little soaps. Who doesn't want little wrapped soaps, brand new for $1.99? In the cart. Look how good that looks. Two things, three things. Okay, why do we have pumpkins in water? Who made this? And I bet you it lights up or does something. Oh, it's a snow globe. Look at that. Very glittery. They're modern. Huh. <laughs> I got no words. <laughs> so you know it's odd if I don't know what to say about it. All right, so you can see all the new carts are out. Now, I am late to the party because truth be told, I don't know what I was doing this morning. I was shipping out. And it's probably, I'm going to guess, about 11 o'clock. So most of these are going to be picked over, which is just fine because we all buy different stuff. Oh, this is very heavy. The original granite bracket. Do I want a very heavy granite bracket? That I think I might. <laughs> what is this? What is a granite bracket? Made in USA. The box is not open. I might have to open this box. See if I can lift the box. All right. They want $5 for a granite bracket. I'm going to open this and see what it is. All right. Oh, we have some black cats with green ribbon bows. I don't know where this is made. Look at that vintage cobweb. $3.99. This would be kind of cute for Halloween. Do I really want to hold on to this till Halloween? Seeing that this ribbon, oh, the ribbons can be changed out. Okay, because they're a little scrappy. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I think somebody's going to want this as a shelf sitter for Halloween. That's a definite yes. Okay, another cart. This is Halo something or another. I'm going to put this in my cart and see if Roger wants to take a look at it. He is also in the house. <gasps> Miniature pictures. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Crap and quick. Oh, these are so good. Uh, I'm gonna have to check if that's foxing or not. Is that on the glass? Oh good, it's on the glass. People are loving little miniature pictures. I don't even know if it matters what the subject matter is. Okay, it came from the same house as the cats. Do you see that waving piece of <laughs> cobweb? Oh, I'm really loving all of this. Okay, what picture is this? Just a little bed. Boy, I am just like scooping it up. This is thrifting at its best. Just come in the door and buy all the things. Yes, we want all of this. We absolutely do. Especially for $1.99. Look how cute that is. Okay, so that one goes with this. Delilah. They have little names on them. Okay. Good find. Really good find. And what are these? These are vintage also. And who is this? Oh, this is where Jesus was presented in the temple, maybe? National Cathedral Christmas card. That is very cool. All right. And we want this one. Let's dig through the bottom of this shelf to make sure we got it all. A sheep knitting. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm taking that one too. Little artwork is doing really well in the booth. So, really nice to have. Not sure what's going on here. Again, vintage. I do like that. Hmm feeling this one. I'm not sure what this is. 
the Artisan Shell Lake somewhere, 2001. Sunape? Sunape. Never heard of it. Okay, what kind of paddles are these? What kind of racket or paddle is this? Is this ping pong? Are they made in USA? Okay, we're gonna look these up, sport design. All right, bottom shelf. We are moving on. <laughs> you know, the fact is not wasted on me that I live in the best thrifting place in the world, $2.99. Yes. Okay, it's coming out of its frame, but that's an easy fix. Let's see what else is down here. Oh my word. How did I get so lucky? We will take all of this. Ah, Incy Bincy Spider. What else is down here? Am I making you dizzy? Okay, this is a rose. Looks like it might be painted, hand done. There's a signature. I don't know what to think about that. Not especially loving that one. Not especially loving this one. Okay, so this all came from that art show, I think. Let's see what this one is. Mm, do I want that one? I don't think so. All right, I hear new carts coming out. Okay, does it get any more crazy than this? So I'm filling up artwork. I see a new cart coming out. The new cart has one thing on it. This bingo game machine thing. We are talking serious bingo. What? $9.99. So the worker said to me, do you want a bingo? Do I want a bingo? Of course I do. Look at the wheel. We are talking serious bingo playing here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at my husband. He's got something in his cart. Let's go check out what he has. Oh, I think maybe he grabbed the things that I was considering. Hey, husband. <laughs> Did you decide to take those? You know, did you want them? I have no idea. Do, I, do we want those? I don't know. It's, she said she was putting them back because they were sitting there for... Okay. For like I don't know hour. who would want those. Like, what style decor? Like, whose house is that going into? Okay. Not ours. Uh, <laughs> well, it is coming into our house. Yeah. I, I yeah. You, you, you just house? grabbed them for me? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if that was somebody's cart. I'm well, not she, sure. She was getting ready to put them back. Okay. Put them back out on the floor. Yeah. And I said, I'll take them. I, I didn't know if you He's wanted saving one. them for me. Yeah. Look what I found. Bingo. bingo. Look at how serious this bingo thing is. Yeah. Look at the look at the end hamster cagey yeah, thing. That's, a, that's not a reunion bingo there. That's a... Give us all your bingo thoughts. <laughs> I, used to, I used to play bingo. Oh you did of course you did. <laughs> Guys, you can name any sport in the world. You could you could name like Easter egg hunt races and he'd be like yep i played I that, that. <laughs> you did <laughs> all right right now what sport have you not played you've never tried it never lacrosse. played lacrosse. lacrosse okay we got to get lacrosse sticks <laughs> all right i'm not sure if i want those i i don't i don't know what to think are they worth seven dollars i think so but is somebody going to want to buy those i don't know what that halo thing is either i just grabbed that for you so Donald came out of the back with the only thing on his cart was this bingo thing. And he was like, do you want bingo? I'm like, of course I want bingo. All right, this is a lot of fun. We're gonna have to play this. I really don't wanna get into selling handbags. I had stepped away from that for a while because yeah, it's, it's just a whole thing. But look at the inside of this. Is that, did they keep like rotten fruit in their handbag or what? Do I have time to try to clean that? It is a beautiful bag. It is genuine. This is all the proper hallmarks and all of that good stuff. $9.99. I don't know how hard that would be to get out. All right. The man who knows how to get stains out. Look at the lining of this purse. It's a beautiful purse. Pull that lining out. Do you think we could clean that? It looks like she kept like a banana or a rotten apple in there. Do you think that would wash out? I don't think that would be. You do think or don't? No, you do. I think it would. Do you think I should take a chance? It's just so bad. But I feel like I could clean that with OxyClean. 
It's well marked. It's got the creed, all the zipper, the hardware is marked. You want to try the zipper for me? Since you have two hands and I only have one? All right. Ugh. What does the zipper say? Coach. Coach. I think, I think that'll clean up. The leather is gorgeous. You think so? Okay. okay. I'm going to take it. I saw this one too. I wonder if the same owner. Let's look for fruit stains inside. <laughs> Some of the things I'd never thought I'd hear myself saying in my line of work. Let's look for fruit stains inside. Well, this one's not bad. All right. What do they want for this one? Again, $9.99. Hmm. The handle looks decent. I always check this part of the handle where your hand or your shoulder would be. I'm wondering if this one is genuine. I'm questioning this. I think the pink is definitely real. Stitching looks good. Let's look at the side stitching. It's very straight. All right, maybe I'll take this too. All right, so so far we still have all the rest of the stuff you've seen. I did not open the granite bracket box yet. What else came out in the new cart? Let's pull this to the side so people can people can move around us. So the new cart had this jug. Hussins, Hussongs, Hussongs. 100% Agave. Agave, Agave. How do we say that? Agave, right? See that word? It's like a succulent, right, that they get sugar from? Tequila. $4.99. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. A little bit of wear, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that bad. Good eye. Yeah, and it's got a problem here. All right, let's stick that one back. We're going we're gonna to wait on that. What is going on here? A little birdhouse. And that looks like a piece of wood that's been turned into a trinket box. I'm gonna hold on to this to be able to look at that piece. All right, back to the cart. I found this butterfly lamp. Yes, please. How gorgeous. Please don't be broken. $7.99. That's a beauty. It's got like a, uh, a metal base. Yeah, we're going to try to get a light bulb at home and, um, and light this baby up and see what this looks like. All right, and the last thing that came off of the new cart, I'm using Roger's cart because my, <laughs> mine is kind of busy right now, is this cast, um, what do I want to say, iron. Castellane, made in USA. I've never heard of this brand. All right, another new cart coming out. Okay, so the new carts have been coming out so consistent, I haven't even gone through all of the other new carts that are already on the floor. Not to mention, I haven't done any of the aisles. This is lovely. I do like this box. Lacquered box with mother of pearl or abalone. Mother of pearl, it looks like. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I don't see any damage, but I'm gonna to have to use my hands to feel it because your hands always locate the imperfections before your eyes do, especially with these old eyes. We're gonna take that. I grabbed these cosmetic bags only because I'm out. Mine get kind of schmutzy carrying everything, but $6.99 is kind of high. I'm gonna gently open the bag and see which ones we have in here and if they're clean inside, that's the whole thing. I use these to carry extra camera equipment, cosmetics, anything, sometimes snacks, anything I'm using. So um, $7, a little bit high, I'm gonna give that a think about. I grabbed a bag of knives. These are bubble wrapped, $9.99. I'm gonna ask Roger if he wants to take a look at them. From the weight of them, they don't feel like they're quality, but it's always good to look. All right, so this is what basically my carts are looking like. I think Roger has one thing. He's got the halo that I gave him that he's thinking about, but everything else is mine so far. Okay, we are officially starting down the aisles. That's until the back doors open and new carts come out. <laughs> and then we'll be running to the new carts. Somebody did a watercolor of a hibiscus. Never stop dreaming. Oh, it's a Western style print. I don't know what that says. Is that a Russell? Hmm. 
This green and burgundy matting, I feel like this kills so many pictures. Like picture that with a dark frame with a white matting. I think it would be so much better, but I'm gonna leave that behind. Oh, I saw something else. Can I do this? Not that. Oh, it's a little bicycle thing from like Target or something like that. Okay, what is on this side? Let's move some of this over. Again, very hard to look at artwork in this store. Oh, a big rooster in a gold frame. Let's see what this rooster is about. Okay, I do kind of like this. That's a very nice frame. And what are they getting for this? $6.99. I think I just need to open an art store. There's that. Let's pull this out. All right, let's set this up. Let's see what we think of it. Uh, I don't know what to think. I feel like the rooster does not match this frame. The frame is very fancy and the rooster is very simple, but he's standing on a hill. Okay, let's take a look at the back of it. See if we can figure out any more of this story. Nope, floor, room, price. Okay, so it was on a multi-floored building. That gives me nothing. Huh. Boy, I'm really on the fence about this one. I don't know what to think. There is a signature, but I'm pretty sure this is a print. I don't think that's an original. All right, I'm gonna wait on this. Could be a very big mistake. And I do like that frame, but I don't know that somebody's gonna buy this for that frame. So we're gonna pop this back on there. Okay. Oh, I like this frame too. I think I just like everything gold. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Okay, this is something. We've got true vintage here. I bet you this is a famous print. Yeah, this is what we want. Look at that wire. I don't know what I'm saying about that wire. I was just saying, look at that wire. Three dollars. Yes, yes, yes. It's not often that I feel indecisive. Sometimes I take a while to make a decision, but then once I make the decision, I'm good. The rooster is, something's weird with that. I don't know if there was another picture in there and they took out the original picture and put the rooster in. I don't know what my mind wants to think about this. Leave a comment down below if you would pick up the rooster who's crowing on a hill with this gold seashell frame. It doesn't match. I think that's the problem. I need it to match. Okay, we saw these a couple of weeks ago. I think that finishes this this aisle. Who made this? Oh, it's taped closed. Well, good. Well, how are we supposed to look at it if it's taped? All right, I'm gonna take the tape off and see if I can open this. It was this little tiny piece of tape that was very strong. All right, I kind of like this. I don't know who makes this, but that is very cool. Is that the eye of God? What does the one eye stand for? I need your help, guys. I don't know anything today. All right, we're gonna take that too. So down off the top shelf, I lifted this very heavy box. I thought it was gonna be a punch bowl because boy, do we see our share of glass punch bowls <laughs> in the thrift stores. This is Technique by Cook's Essential. It's a porcelain enamel cast iron cookware. Normally I wouldn't give this a second glance, but it's pink. This is made for, I believe, breast cancer awareness. So I'm thinking the company might contribute to research about breast cancer. I don't know what this part is to. I think this is like a, um, a grid that you put into the Dutch oven for steaming vegetables, that's a guess. So here is the pot here. It's still new in box. Let's see if I can get this out, yeah. Breast cancer awareness. The pink is very, not like my nail polish. It's a very, I don't know what color pink to call that, dusty pink. And the pot looks to be brand new. Goodwill wants $30 for it. And I did run comps quickly for it so we could take a look at this. You would think that pink cast iron cookware is quite rare, which I'm sure it is. But when I put it into an eBay search, uh, 15, 12, now those aren't pink. Here's pink here, $29.99 with a best offer accepted. That's the pot right there. So I don't know why Goodwill would be pricing this, so this one's got a chip, be pricing this at such a high price. I think that they must have gone into listings instead of solds. All the pricers in the back have the authority to 
set their own price. So they are doing a little bit of research. Yep, just what I thought, 150. But that's not sold. That's somebody just asking for it. Here again are listings. You can see they're between 15 and $25. 43 for a pink one and it didn't sell. Yeah, so this one's going back on the shelf. This is art aisle number two. Really, it's just the flip side of the other aisle. Not seeing anything down here. That's kind of nice. I think those are probably so plentiful in Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. It's kind of like just a, um, a memo board with a little place to write notes or put your child's name and hang their coats. All made out of MDF, which is like a fake wood. A lot of Pottery Barn stuff is made out of MDF, so, and they do quite well. So it doesn't mean that if something's MDF, you know, you're not gonna be able to get a good price for it. All right, that's my commercial about wood. I love real wood, ooh. Okay, that's almost good. I don't know if this would sell in this area. If you were in Florida or down south, that is quite pretty. It's a print. Lots of artwork on the shelves. Happy holidays, a little mistletoe. It's an old, old fashioned print. Probably from Home Goods or a store like that. Okay, we've got a pink print down here. What is this? Let's move all of this nonsense and get to the real 1980s thing. Okay, again a poster. Double matted though, so money did go into it. It's a mother and child. Beautiful. Not something that I feel I could sell in this area though. And the bigger stuff, I have to really know my local market because most people in certain areas, you know, demographically will decorate basically the same. Like if you go to the deep country, you're not gonna find a lot of ultra modern, minimalist, you know what I'm saying, uh, decor in people's homes. You're gonna find country decor. This is nice, Susan Hunt. Wilco Witch. <laughs> That's wrong. I do like this print. Scottsdale, Arizona. That is quite pretty. Quite big too, $5. I'm gonna need more walls. That's what life comes down to. I need a lot more walls to hang all of this nonsense that I'm buying, which has been selling. Oh, $5, do I want that? Leslie Levy Fine Arts, Scottsdale, Arizona. That is quite beautiful. I might pick this up. I know, crazy. Okay, because the carts are filling up and I don't want to get a third cart yet, we are Googling this. We're doing our due diligence on these. I have this one and that one up there. This is Turner wall accessory. It's a vintage thing. They're quite lightweight. And like I said, who is going to decorate with this? What kind of decor? Hollywood Regency? I don't think so. It's very Italian. So you'd have to have like... Rococo, Italian, Baroque. Now I'm just saying words. This is what the back looks like. This is a Turner wall accessory. I'm thinking that was sold in like Sears or pennies. And when I put it in, there's no solds. There are quite a few listed, but nobody's buying them. So I'm gonna put that one back. There's one there. It's the best offer accepted. It was 56.25 after they marked it down from 75 and they accepted a best offer, so. Yeah, those are going back to make way for, I picked this up for Roger. He was just talking about he's never played lacrosse and we found that seems to be some signatures on there. So I think he might've Googled this and 4.99 Goodwill wants. So we're sticking that in there. I also found this while you weren't looking. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the wood on that, 3.99. Not quite sure where this was made. I do have the top to it. Now the top has a hole. So is this a tissue holder? But this is all bent wood. Look at the copper nails. I just, I just go on and on about wood, don't I? <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely, yes. And I'm gonna lift up the Scottsdale, Arizona. 
snowy scene and put that in the cart. Okay, we're really in the boxed games aisle, but a lot of times other toys get thrown into here. And this caught my attention. It's just like a plastic bin of mixed creepy dolls. So if creepy dolls scare you, you might want to turn away now. But I'm going to show you a few of these. So I think this, even though it has a lot of detail, like look at that. Um, I don't know that this is anything of note, but I did find a couple that are really interesting. Now this one, her legs are broken. But you see that face? I think this is goat's hair, her wig. And I'm guessing these are made out of polymer clay. So is an artist making these? I will have to get rid of that one, too much damage. And lots of like mythical creature type stuff going on. Wow, look at that one. Okay, these are like, I don't even know what to call these, mythical creature people. <laughs> see who this one is. Yeah, these are polymer clay, I'm pretty sure. Wow. I think somebody's going to want these. All right, so the whole bin of them are $4.99. And like I said, I think it's just a mixed lot of things. But there is enough stuff that I think will be in good enough shape to sell. Oh, that looks like an alien one. Very interesting. I think this is someone's collection. Wow. Yeah, I think these are clay, made out of clay. So I'm going to have to do some research on these. That one has a broken leg. Some mushrooms growing on a something. Okay, she's just stuck in there. She doesn't belong in there. Okay, this one's signed something 2008. All right, so for $4.99, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. I think there might be some pretty good value in this. So you guys will really appreciate this. A while back, probably a good half hour ago, I found this and I said, oh, I wanted to film this to show, you know, everybody what I found. Just a simple wind chime. And I put it on the bar of the cart. So I'm pushing the cart, forgetting that I picked this up. I'm like, what is that bell ringing? <laughs> Better worry about your girl sometimes. $4.99. This is very cool. Kind of like beach glass. No, it's not really found beach glass. Oh, the star is broken. Darn. But normally I would pick this up. Today I'm going to put this back because I just noticed that the star, the glass star is broken. Could I cut it off and put something else? Yes, but I don't think it's that high quality to, you know, warrant the time put into it. So I'm going to leave this on the shelf for somebody else. Maybe somebody else would, you know what, I'm going to hang it. That way everybody else can see that it's hanging there. I think that's going to go quick. I also noticed <laughs> this couple. Look at the painting on that. Okay, so the Kreider sisters, Ronx PA, I guess they painted it, and I think these are very good. Now, I don't see any damage. $3.99 for the missus, and for her hubby, $3.99, so $8 for the couple. I think these are really good for Easter. They're so different, very well painted, so I'm really liking these. They are going in the cart. All right, today I am putting a coat over my merchandise because people were starting to go through my carts, you know, thinking that they were up for sale, that they were just inventory carts. So sometimes I do have to cover my stuff. One gentleman was a little bit embarrassed that he was looking through the stuff in the car. I said, no, it's mine, but you're welcome to look through it. Kind of gave me a weird glance, like, why would I want to do that if I can't buy anything? I love looking through other people's carts. I am so nosy. All right, what else? We're on the lamp aisle. How did we wind up at the end of the store? Wow, that's weird. Somebody made this out of pipes? That's not good. I don't know what that is. I, I have no words. It has been a really great thrifting day. Roger has the other cart. It is totally filled. And we are just looking at what is on the lamp aisle. 
I don't see anything all that wonderful. I did see some small lampshades, like the chandelier lampshades, but they wanted a dollar ninety-nine each, and there were ten of them. It would have cost me twenty dollars. So you know this size. So I like these when they're left in a group. I would have paid maybe six or eight dollars, but not twenty dollars. If I see them again, I'll show them to you. All right, this is the big item luggage. We don't know where to put stuff aisle. I very rarely film on this aisle because it's a lot of like just big random stuff. Now I did share with you guys that I do sell carry on luggage, but I always try to test it as carefully as possible because most times it is donated because the wheels are broken or the handle is broken. Okay, this is a handbag. Who is making this one? Doesn't feel especially high end. I'm gonna look for a branding. Yeah, I'm not seeing any branding right out of the gate, so I'm gonna put that one back. There's a plate up here I'm seeing. Oh, it is a rooster plate. Spongeware, no marking, decorative holes. So you put a wire or a string through that. Could be a mistake, but I'm gonna put this one back. Today was so much of a nicer shopping experience because that one employee lowered the music. There aren't a ton of people, but there's a family with five small children and they have been wonderful. I mean, you can hear the kids, but it's not like screaming kids or anything like that. So once again, shout out to the employee that lowered the music. I don't think he watches my videos, but I don't have his permission to say his name and I would never want to get anybody in trouble, but so much more of a pleasant experience when the music is not blaring, even without the fear of being copyrighted uh, strike. Yeah, so much better when the music is lower. I always liked that even when I was younger. It's like, please don't blast the music. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think we have been through the whole store today. Any, any aisles worth going down? I think we went down that tchotchke aisle, did we? Let's just pop over here. I see an owl candle. I'm not sure why we want to light these animals' heads on fire. Is that a thing? Do people really get out a match and, and burn their, their candle figurines? Did we just see this aisle? I don't think so. I can't remember. Some dolphins. Yeah, I don't think they're all that... I don't think they're all that this and that. All right, and on this side seems to be a lot of the wireware. Scanning, scanning. I still use my method of reading a shelf from left to right. So when it's overwhelming and when a store has this much, I take it um, shelving unit by unit and I start at the top and I read it from left to right so I don't miss anything. Okay, these are beautiful. What are these? Oh, $2.99. I kind of like these. A little rusty. I think these are reproductions, but I'm going to grab these. I think these are very good. Yeah, those are super nice. I really like those. That's going in the cart. All right, now reading this shelf. We don't want that. It doesn't really take that long to do and it just helps my eye focus on what I might want to purchase, especially while I'm filming and, you know, trying to avoid running people over. Tell me that's attached in there. What? Did somebody attach? What? What is this for? N-A-M-O-E? Nemo? What do you, what do you do with this? What is this? I'm, I'm stumped. Bananas? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I'm thinking no, but I will Google Nama Namo. Namo. I don't know, but see the way the screws are? Yeah, that, I don't think that's a good sign. That they just screw right through the wooden bowl. Unless somebody attach that aftermarket. Okay, so we are just about to head out because the bus has pulled up. This place is always so well attended. Lots of people. Ooh, those sandals were nice. <laughs> 
All right, so this is what one of the cards is looking like. I think I showed you everything. I'm especially excited for this pan. I have never found this brand before. Castellane, made in USA. Boy, is this thing old. Enamel cast iron. Um, and I don't know if I showed you this dish. Kind of like just a Hallmark quote from Witch of the Wicked West. And I think this is a good farmhouse soap dish. That's the way I'm gonna market it. I know, it just makes stuff up. In this bag, we had snacks. We had pretzels and cookies. And earlier we had some chicken and cut up cheese. We always bring food everywhere we go. I might not have showed this either. Just a box of vintage soaps. Nothing really great of note, but $2.99. I think I could probably get, I'm gonna guess 12 for these. Savon, which means soap, gardenia. And yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. They're made in France. Oh, restoration hardware, go me. Do I know quality or what? I didn't even know that was restoration hardware. If you guys don't know restoration hardware, they are a fantastic home decor, furniture store very high end. I did grab this belt. I wasn't sure if I was keeping it, but I definitely am. It is in decent shape. Rose painted enamel buckle and it barely looks like it's been used, if at all. Let's look at the holes end, the business end of the belt. Yeah, it's in great shape. So we're definitely taking that. And this is the other cart. All right, so I didn't show you everything. A walking stick. Now recently, I listed a cane slash walking stick and eBay pulled it down and said it went against health regulations. So be careful if you are listing walking sticks on eBay. I have to look more into that, I didn't have time. I think this is made from one piece of wood, in other words, a tree branch. And um, yeah, we're gonna need this at the end of the day. It's gonna be a busy day. Okay, everything else I think I've showed you. We have lots of artwork, our bingo game, our cats. This is a tray, the very odd polymer clay dolls, a coach bag that needs to be cleaned up, and I think that's it. All right, guys, I'm so glad you came shopping with me. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours.